Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah Wahdahu la shirika la Wa ashadu anna muhammad al-abduhu wa rasuluh Thumma amma ba' We continue insha'Allah By the blessing and the permission of Allah Wa ta'ala says in Al-Qul al-Mufidu Fi adilat al-Tawheedi Wa ashik Abi Ibrahim, Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab, Al-Yemeni, Al-Wasabi, Min Hudayda, Hafidahullah Sa'al. We're still in Nawaq al-Islamiyya, the things that nullify a person's Islam. I think the last thing we took was um, Man Lam Yukaffiru Al-Quqr. من أين أخرى من البداية؟ لا نحن أخذنا الأول والثاني والثالث أظننا يعني كملنا الثالث نحن أن الواضح في الرابع الآن؟ آه طيب إن شاء الله قلمة الشيخ العلامة مقبل من هذه الوداع لا هذا المقدم هذا الكل المقدم نحن وقفنا يعني هذه هي المقدم لا إله إلا الله الشرط الأول لا وقفنا هذا طيب يعني نواقض الإسلام يعني بعد الإسلام وال نواقض الإسلام يعني والأوكان ها وقفنا النواقض الأول نواقض الإسلام العشرة نعم نحن في الثالث الرابع من النواقض الناقض الرابع بسم الله الناقض الرابع من اعتقد أن هدي غير النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أكمل من هديه أو أن حكم غيره أحسن من حكمه كالذين يفضلون حكم الطواغيط على حكمه ويدخل فيه من اعتقد أن الأنظمة والقوانين التي يسنها الناس أفضل من شريعة الإسلام أو أن أحكام الإسلام لا يصلح تطبيقها في هذا العصر أو أن الإسلام كان سببا في تخلف المسلمين أو أن يحصل الإسلام في علاقة المرء بربه دون أن يتدخل في شؤون الحياة الأخرى ويدخل في هذا الناقض من يرى أن إنفاذ حكم الله في قطع يد السارق أو رجم الزاني المحصن لا يناسب هذا العصر أو لا يناسب العصر الحاضر ويدخل في هذا ويدخل في ذلك أيضا كل من اعتقد أنه لا يجوز أنه يجوز الحكم أنه يجوز الحكم أنه يجوز حكم شريعة أنه يجوز الحكم بغير شريعة الله في المعاملات أو الحدود أو غيرهما وإن لم يعتقد أن ذلك أفضل من حكم الشريعة لأنه بذلك يكون قد استباح ما حرم الله إجماعا وكل من استباح ما حرم الله ورسوله مما هو معلوم من الدين بالضرورة كالزنا والربا والخمر والحكم بغير شريعة الله إلى غير ذلك فهو كافر بإجماع المسلمين قال الله تعالى أفحكم الجاهلية يبغون ومن أحسن من الله حكما لقوم يوقنون وقال تعالى ومن لم يحكم بما أنزل الله فأولئك هم الكافرون وقال تعالى ومن لم يحكم بما أنزل الله فأولئك هم الظالمون وقال تعالى ومن لم يحكم بما أنزل الله فأولئك هم الفاسقون وقال تعالى 
إن الدين عند الله الإسلام وقال تعالى ومن يبتغ غير الإسلام دينا فلن يقبل منه وهو في الآخرة من الخاسرين إلى هنا إن شاء الله بارك الله فيك and uh, the Sheikh mentioned something that's definitely uh, controversial in this day and time and that is the Sharia that the Prophet وسلم, that he came with that means what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to his messenger وسلم, and the Sheikh he mentioned some evidence of حكم الجاهلية يبغون ومن أحسن من ماذا ومن أحسن من الله حكما ومن أحسن من الله حكما لقوم يقينون and is it that you prefer the rulings and legislations and those things from the days before Islam rather than that which, which is better for you which came from Allah and what is better for people to rule by, to use as a governing tool, than that which is the will of Allah for those who are yani, obedient. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this, yani, just as he mentioned, al yawm akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atamamtu alaykum ni'mati wa radaytu lakum islam ad that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completed the religion. That the deen yani, is kamal, meaning it is complete. La tahtaj ila takamili. It's not in need of any completion because Allah Azza wa Jal completed. So when you talk about that which the Prophet came with, and it includes everything from his statements, his actions, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned concerning the Prophet. And it tada illa ma yuha ilayya that the Prophet said, I only follow that which has been sent to me. Meaning of his actions, the ulama tafsir they mentioned. And the statement of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala man yantiqu wa ma yantiqu anil hawa inhu illa wa yun yuha. And that he doesn't speak from his desires, rather, he only speaks from revelation. So a person would ask. <coughs> And there's a discussion about the Prophet. هل هو معصوم أم لا؟ هل وهل هو معصوم قبل 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 قبلا وهل هو معصوم يعني ماذا قبل النبوة وبعد؟ Some of the people they have discussion is the Prophet معصوم, and they loosely translate معصوم as infallible. Is the Prophet infallible before prophecy and after prophecy? Is he making mistakes, doing things wrong as a normal human being, even before prophethood? And what about after he has received prophethood? And the ulama, they explain that there's ijma' ala anna nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam annuhu ma'asum ba'da bithatihi alayhi salatu wa sallam بعد نبوته that after prophecy came to him after he became prophet he's ma'asum وما قبل ذلك ففيه اختلاف and as far as before prophethood then there's a difference of opinion some of them say that he is not before prophethood because he is a human being others say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already wrote for him to be prophet knew that he was going to be prophet and thus in his preparation for being prophet Allah made him even before prophecy ma'asum infallible and what is understood by infallible is not that he won't forget or that he won't do something that's wrong thinking that it's right that's human error but as the ulama tafsir have explained what is meant by ma'asum is that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam won't make a sin. He won't yani, do zambin purposely. And this means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he uh, has made something clear that is haram 
as the Prophet mentioned, إن الحلال بيّنة وإن الحرام بيّنة. Of course, the haram is clear, then the Prophet won't do it. As far as human nature, as in the statement of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, يا أيها النبي جو لما تحرم ما حل الله لك تبتغي أزواجك ماذا؟ تبتغي مرضات أزواجك نعم بارك الله فيكم O Prophet, why do you seek to make something haram, prohibited, that you won't do it? While Allah made it for you, it's okay for you to do it, seeking to please your wives. This, and he is inclusive in the Fafsalam bi Ma'asul, meaning he did something, thinking that it was okay, and then when the revelation comes, the Prophet follows that revelation. He's not like from the other people that will disobey Allah to Baraku wa Ta'ala or go outside of the revelation. But when we talk about human, then this doesn't mean if he makes a human error or if he forgets, he's not masoom. Because here, not masoom would mean that the Prophet and he disobeyed Allah on purpose. Rather here, it means that the Prophet Sallam will do something mistakenly. As the Prophet Sallam mentioned, رفعوا عن أمتي الخطأ والنصيان وما استقره عليه أو كما قال that Allah has raised the obligation of being held responsible that Allah has raised the burden off of my ummah for what they do من خطأ meaning they think it's right and they do it in reality it's wrong then they're not held accountable and this is not considered ذنبن disobeying Allah to Baruch or to Allah so here, let it be known that what the Prophet ﷺ received from Allah, he follows in totality. And if something comes to the Prophet because of human error, then he's the first to obey that revelation. Thus, he follows the revelation of Allah to Baruch wa Ta'ala, Miya bi Miya, 100%. And he only speaks with revelation, alayhi salatu wa salam, such as the yani, qissas of uh, when they came and asked him about the date tree. This was from revelation that he can tell them, do this, and then when they come back and say that they didn't work, we didn't harvest any more crops than last year, rather we lost, he told them, you don't have to follow me in that. You are a more knowledgeable and affair than me. This is also from revelation. So this shows that the Prophet Sallam came with the best and the finest guidance that is the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thus has prohibited for anyone to deem that there is a guidance better than the Prophet, or there is a guidance equal to the Prophet, or there is a way that's better than the Prophet, or there is a way that's equal to the Prophet. Or that the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has become old. There's no need for it. Something should be in place of that then this is prohibited because the Prophet ﷺ followed the revelation in his actions and he followed the revelations in his statements. And if this is the Prophet, then what about less than him? We were commanded. However, some of the people of deviation, when that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as-salama wal-afiyah wal-hidayah, that Allah save us from deviation and that he guides us and pardons us they have taken the likes of these principles and the verses that Allah Taala mentioned about following rulership, rules and regulations and things for a good wholesome life and made it that if a person follows other than that, Allah told, right away he leaves Islam. And this is not true. If a person is forced or if a person is weak and he believes that the Sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is the way of the Prophet, that it is the best way because it's from Allah, the Creator, and that it is inclusive for all mankind, not just for the Arabs or not for 1436 years ago, but he follows something other than that. He follows a man-made law that is in opposition to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man-made laws are not bad, but when they oppose the book of Allah, then this is something different. So if that person was to follow, yani for example, 
socialism. And he was forced to follow socialism, or he was to follow you know, democracy. As people have a misunderstanding, as the Sheikh mentioned, democracy. What is democracy? They say freedom. But, yani Sheikh on the Mukbir Rahimahullah, he mentioned the Demokratia Hukmu Shab the Shab. It is that you replace what Allah gave the humanity to live by, and you put the people's laws, rules, and regulations up over and substitution for what Allah gave. And this, the Sheikh said, the Shirk al Akbar, who kufrun billahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a type of shirk with Allah because you make yourself the one who is the legislator and this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knows his creation best. So here this is a broad issue. You can talk about it from a lot of perspectives. And yes, Islam and Ibarakallahu fikum calls for organization. It calls for that which is madha uh, Salim Mujtama'a, that which corrects the whole of humanity, the cause for Amin, wa kullu shay min al tayyibat, for security and everything of good. And Islam is against that which is yani, fitna, wal fasad, that which is corruption in any way, spiritually, physically, mentally. Islam is against chaos and disorder. But however, this order that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala sent down is inclusive for everyone. And those who try to replace it, those who think it's barbaric, those who think that yani, maza, it is not fit, and this, yani, if they believe that in heart, and it's made clear to them that this is wrong, and they persist, then in this case, they nullify the Islam, as all of the ulama agree to the issue of you have to clarify and prove and lay out and establish the evidence to people in these affairs. You just don't make a judgment as a panel of scholars, as a uh, jurist uh, prudent, or as a um, civil court. Rather, it's to be examined and to clarify with patients like this. نعم. من أبغض شيئا مما جاء به الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم ولو عمل به فقد كفر قال الله تعالى والذين كفروا فتعسا لهم وأضل أعمالهم ذلك بأنهم كرهوا ما أنزل الله فأحبط أعمالهم وقال تعالى إن الذين ارتدوا على أدبارهم من بعد ما تبين لهم الهدى الشيطان سول لهم وأملى لهم ذلك بأنهم قالوا للذين كرهوا ما أنزل الله سنطيعكم في بعض الأمر والله يعلم إسرارهم فكيف إذا توفتهم الملائكة يضربون وجوههم وأدبارهم ذلك بأنهم اتبعوا ما أسخط الله وكرهوا رضوانه فأحبط أعمالهم. الله المستعان. هنا يعني I forgot one point but it's inclusive in this next point as well. That is if a person makes something halal that Allah made haram and vice versa. Something that is haram Allah as the wajal made it haram you make it halal. The origin of it's halal you make it haram. The origin of it's haram you make it halal. This yani, is yani, what takes you from the middle as well. Yani, but however, it's the issue of itiqat. You must believe that that thing yani, is okay to follow. And even some ulama, they mention if the sheikh he tells you something and you believe because the sheikh told you that it becomes haram while the evidence is clear, it's halal, vice versa. Then it becomes not only you leave Islam, 
But this one who made the ruling, he becomes Mahbud. He set himself up as a deity, a rivalry to be worshipped besides Allah. And this is because of the legislation. None has the right to make halal and haram. Even the Prophet. He only says what Allah Taala says with regards to this issue. The next and the fifth, Nawaqid. Barakallahu fikum. That is a person hating, detesting what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down. And we understand like some of the issues such as adad al-zawaj, plural marriage. And some people they would mistakenly think if a lady doesn't like it, and we're not talking about should you practice it in America, should you not practice it in America, is it something you practice yani, in this day and time? No, that's a separate issue. But we know it's mentioned in the book. And some people, whether they're in America or they're in Misr, Egypt, or Sudan, or even Yemen, they have views and, and a different perceptions about these rulings. Some of them they say, we don't like this. If this is from a woman's perspective, then every woman wants to be with her husband, want her husband to herself. This is Adi, as they say, normal. And this is yani, from the nature of a woman. However, if ruling wise, in her heart, she says, for example, I believe that this is chauvinistic. I believe that this is mean. Why would Allah make an injunction like this? Then this is not her nature of jealousy or wanting to simply be with the husband without him having a second wife. And this is itiqati. So this is one of the examples of hating that which Allah has sent. And not the mere jealousy that a lady has or wanting her husband to be only to her. Not talking about belief wise, you understand? And sometimes that belief, it may be held inside. She may not voice it. Yomu Qiyama, Allah will deal with that as this is one of the ways that a person leaves the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you dislike something that Allah has sent down. It's the same thing when you're talking about taking care of the women. Many of the brothers feel that it's difficult when in America both people have to work. And this may be true, depending on the time that we live in, the society. The society has made things different. But the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rajalika wa muna ala nisa, بما فضل الله بعضهم على البعض وبما أنفقوا من أموالهم نعم this is the legislation if a man can take, take, take care of his household then he should and it's not binding on the lady to go out and work it's not binding on the lady to go out and help except that يعني, there's an exception to the rule the man is sick, can't work she can't say okay I'm leaving, I want divorce and we'll call out no. يعني, or something that they agree upon because of a hardship, then this is okay. Working together on righteousness and piety. But know for surety, if she's working and the work is suitable for her religion, then that money is hers. And it's not because we are in this time, we're in this place, you know, she has to split it or we should carry the weight together. No, because this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made as a part of manhood or jula. And if you dislike it, and some people, they dislike it in their chest, they will tell you, and this is an example, when you talk about it, the person said, I don't believe that we should take care of women. They had, you know, they grown, they can work on their own. I didn't do this to Jackie Leah. I'm not doing this in Islam. And this is it, the party, you understand? So these things, if you dislike, you have a hatred for the pleasure of Allah. You have a hatred for what Allah sent down. And this is one of the ways that you leave Islam. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And ya'ina na min hadha. Ameen. That's the Lord to save us and assist us in that. Al-Madil al-Sadis. Man istahda'a billahi aw al-Rasul aw al-Quran aw al-Din aw al-Malaika aw al-Ulama min ajli ilmihim aw bi-ayyi sha'iratin شعائر الإسلام كالصلاة والزكاة والصيام والحج والطواف بالكعبة والوقوف بعرفة أو المساجد والآذان أو اللحية أو السنة النبوية إلى غير ذلك من شعائر الله والمقدسات الإسلامية فهو كافر قال الله تعالى قل أبي الله وآياته ورسوله كنتم تستهزئون 
لا تعتذروا قد كفرتم بعد إيمانكم إن نعف عن طائفة منكم نعذب طائفة بأنهم كانوا مجرمين وقال الله تعالى إن الذين أجرموا كانوا من الذين آمنوا يضحكون وإذا مروا بهم يتغامزون وإذا انقلبوا إلى أهلهم انقلبوا فكهين وإذا رأوهم قالوا إن هؤلاء لضالون وما أرسلوا عليهم حافظين فاليوم الذين آمنوا من الكفار يضحكون على الأرائك ينظرون هل ثوب الكفار ما كانوا يفعلون وقال تعالى وإذا رأيت الذين يخوضون في آياتنا فأعرض عنهم حتى يخوضوا في حديث غيره وإما ينسينك الشيطان فلا تقعد بعد الذكرى مع القوم الظالمين بارك الله فيك وجزاكم الله خير أحسن الله إليك نعم this is another controversial controversial issue يعني يشكل على كثير من الناس في هذه الأيام في هذه الأزمنة نعم and that is الاستهزاء الاستهزاء والسخرياء في الدين and to belittle or to make insignificant or to make joke and play with or about the religion and here the shaykh he mentioned so much adilla that there's no way to flee except إلى الله عز وجل نعم that you flee you repent back to Allah that you submit back to Allah. Because Allah, this is a problem today around the world with the Muslims. That deen has been made, yani, sport and play. And the Shaykh, he mentioned anything from the Sha'a'i of Allah, anything that's considered a sign that Allah exists, His greatness, yani, His majesty, and he mentioned such as the Adhan. Some people may make fun of the Adhan. And we know sometimes... <laughs> Brothers call the Adhan in a funny way, the Ajim, you know, we're non-Arab, so we might, you know, a brother might call it in a way that reminds you of the days when you used to listen to music or sing, or someone from the Arab he might, you know, prolong something because they have singers in their country, people are affected, and they're trying to beautify the Adhan. But we mean make a mockery of the Adhan, like someone said, that sounds so stupid. Or someone say, I'm tired of hearing that nonsense every morning. This is making istihza, mockery, the little of the deen of Allah tabaraku wa ta'ala. The masajid, someone was to belittle the masajid, put it on a level, make it equal to church and synagogue. La. The masajid, yani, at the mashe, barakallahu fikum, ala al wajhil ar. It's one of the most greatest things on the face of the earth. Now, and when you talk about the lihya, wallahi, some people in business, they have to shave, mashallah, tabarakallah. And there's a debate, is it sunnah or wajib? And sunnah only means it's recommended and it's not an obligation. And Allah knows my heart. And all of these different statements you can put on the table. But the lihya is not to be made fun of. Even if a person has gray or he dyes it with henna, maybe it's a little bright, maybe it's brown, maybe it's burgundy. You shouldn't make fun of that. As this is from the religion. Anything from the religion is considered ayah, considered yani, sha'a'ir, sacred, a portent, a part of the religion. yani al nam fil jalabibiha. A lady with her overgarment or her khimar shouldn't be ridiculed and, and made ridiculed and made fun of. You know, as there's a dress code in Islam, tight clothes, form fitting, it's prohibited. But sometimes the people that get mocked because they don't want to wear that, they want to wear loose fitting, they want to try to wear something that's appropriate. If a person, Allah Musta'an, makes mockery of scholars, and we don't mean that scholars don't make mistakes. They're human. As Rasulullah mentioned, إِذَا حَكَمَ حَكَمْ وَأَصَافَ لَهُ أَجْرَانِ 
So this proves that they make mistakes. But because he has knowledge, someone belittles him so that people will look at him in a bad light. Or because he is a person, he's upon religion for real. People, they talk bad about him. He's extreme or he's like a monk. Or if he sticks to the knowledge of the book of the Sunnah and people belittle him because of his opinions that are on the side of the book of the Sunnah, then just because of the knowledge that he has or to run the people away from him because of the knowledge, and these are the affairs that or from making mockery and making joke or belittle of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I you shame and ayatullahi azza wa jal. Anything that's connected to the deen of Allah or part of the religion and its trueness and its authenticity, and you cannot make mockery of that thing except that you are making mockery of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or his messenger or his ayat. كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَهْزِئُونَ لَا تَعْتَذِرُوا قَدْ كَفَرْتُمْ بَعْدِ إِمَانِكُمْ Allah says you have no excuse. You have disbelieved after you have believed. However, again, all of these type of rulings, all of these injunctions are not for Ahmad Nas. They are not for the layman to see something, look at the book, identify, and then make a judgment, make a call, make a verdict. No. They are not for civilizations, Normal shuyuk, people that have yani, zul ilm. These are for yani, qada, judges, people that have a lot of knowledge of the affairs of the people, common affairs, um, current affairs, different things that will make a person act like this, different influences, different groups, so that they can properly deal with it. And for them, they don't rush in these affairs. Wallahi. They use time, hikmah, all of the avenues to make sure that the person has every benefit of the doubt before they even go to the extent of passing the ruling that the person has left Islam. And this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us that we shall take the deen serious. That we may take it serious so that it's for our own benefit. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yukhlisana jami'an. We ask Allah to make us all sincere. Wa yakfil lana dunubana to forgive us for our sins. When you kefir and siyatina and wipe away those sins, what wafana mal abaral and to make us die the death of the righteous was so the law of Wasal Mubarak, Ala Nabina Muhammad, Wa ala Ali was Habi Wasalam and Tasdim and Kithira, Wa Nahmada Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa ashkuruhu, thumma antum ashkurukum ala muhadaratikum izakum Allahu khaira. Any questions? <laughs> Comments? Correction? La bad, bad map too. The judge, the Jaleel, and I think, yeah. I think that's what the Sheikh was. It's a Jaleel and a Bet. for those who flee to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.